And tonight we're learning a lot more about the man accused of kidnapping and assaulting a woman inside a home where a second woman's body was found. Our Zara Barker was inside the South Bay courtroom today. She joins us live with the latest Zara. Rafael Banda's arraignment has been postponed until Tuesday because he did retain some private counsel. Now, even though that arraignment was postponed, we did learn some new details about this alleged kidnapping inside of the courtroom today. Some of the details just too graphic and disturbing to really even talk about. 44 year old Rafael Banda appearing before a judge facing several felony charges after he allegedly kidnapped, raped, and assaulted a woman in a home in the Palm City neighborhood Tuesday. I'm setting uh, this case as no bail. Banda's bail was denied and he's charged with forcible rape and kidnapping, but with two prior strikes, he's facing 35 years to life. I think the court set appropriately no bail in this case given the facts of the case and that his based on his criminal history as well, that he's clearly a danger to the community, and that's what the court found by clear convincing evidence. In the courtroom Friday, we learned the woman knew Bonda for about a week, went to get her stuff from his home when he showed her a gun and accused her of stealing money. Then... At some point, he then tries to extort her, makes her call her, her daughter. Um, during that call, the daughter hears what she believes is her mother being beaten up. After, she says Bonda sexually assaulted her and revealed another woman's body inside the home. She escaped only after seeing Bonda passed out on drugs. That's when she flagged down a car, called 911, and reported what happened. There was a dead body in there, so clearly the, the totality of circumstances, plus his criminal history, uh, shows that he's a violent person and that he's a danger to the community. Now, I got in contact with the San Diego County Medical Examiner's Office, who have told us that they have sealed the documents in regard to the suspicious death investigation. That investigation is separate from the charges that Bonda was facing inside of the courtroom today. And once again, Bonda's arraignment now postponed until Tuesday at 1.30. Of course, Fox 5 will be here and bring you the latest then. Reporting live in Chula Vista, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.